hit the subscribe button and I'm going to do some more things to the bike, do some mods, add some things, add some baskets and things for grocery shopping and stuff. So check back with my other videos and check out what all I do with my phone mounts, my mirror mounts, all kinds of stuff. There's a lot of things you can do to this thing to make it an everyday bike or an everyday vehicle. So thanks for watching. You My new bike is here. I got it out of the box and put together, but I'm going to show you what happened when I took it out of the box and put it together. But if you've never seen a rad bike, this is cool. This is called the Rad Wagon, and I'm going to show you how I took it out of the box and put it together right now. Now, before we get started, I just want to tell you, I'm not a professional, like you see all these videos of professionals putting bicycles together and they have some real good videos from rad that you can go watch and do assemblies and things but this is a, a, an inexperienced person taking it out of the box and putting it together in real life and i'm just going to show you how easy and how hard it is so let's go do that now so the electric bike king the rad wagon we're going to see how to get it out of this box Don't don't use it when there's those on there. That might not be good. kickstand and I'll show you something about the kickstand later but you do have to thread the kickstand through the chain so it don't go below the chain it goes above the chain next 
I'm going to try to figure this out. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you don't have tools and mechanical skills of some kind, you might want to consider taking it to a bike shop. So in looking at the forks when you're when you're adjusting the forks to put the handlebars on and the front tire on, you would think that this piece goes in the back, it don't, it goes in the front. So still working on getting this loose. But this the hex head where the wrench goes will be on the right side of the bike. Or it will be backwards. Okay, and in order to get the handlebars on properly, this has a USB port in it. The USB port will, port will be pointing down. So that rolls on top of the bike like that. So the USB port is facing this way. I'm going to get it about where I think it should be, and I'm going to tighten down a little bit. Just want to make sure it's in the center. Looks good. Alright, that's pretty good. Now, I'll tighten that back complete. up. It's not. There's a lot more to do. Yeah, but it looks like a complete bike. But this isn't any ordinary bike. Okay. Now we'll take off these things. I'm leaving as much packing on here as possible to keep from scratching anything up. So try not to scratch anything. Now to take this off, this is part of the front wheel too. So don't throw any of this away. You got to do that. You got to unscrew it and take this cap off. And you gotta save every bit of this. Don't lose the spring. Now on some of the bikes I've seen when they unpack them, there's a little plastic piece in here between the calipers on the brake. It's not on this one, so I'm not gonna worry about it. They also tell you not to touch that. They don't want your hands on it. Because that will make a make it rust, I guess. So now I'm taking the, the piece that came out of their packing that stand the stand for it, putting it in the wheel, and I'm putting the nut and the spring on the other side. And the small part of the spring goes in. I'll hold it up and show you. Uh -huh. Can you see? Uh -huh. Okay, right here on the axle, there's a couple of springs. The small part goes towards the wheel on both sides. And then put that nut on. And then you're going to put this on the bicycle. You got to make sure that the brake caliper goes in. And it's a little tight. It's a little tight. I'm going to have to loosen that up. Okay, so I got it on, got the front wheel on here, and it's turning pretty good. Now we're going to do the front fender. The front fender also has the light assembly. And I watched probably 50 to 100 videos too before doing this. So, if that tells you anything. So here's the light, and it has a little. So you got to loosen up the screw on the headlight and get the adjust, get the bracket adjusted a little bit. Now, in order to put the headlight on, you got to put the fender on first. Put it in place. You got to put the bolt through the headlight. Can you see that with the camera? Uh, I might need to zoom in a little bit. Can you see it with the camera? And then you put it through the bracket on the fender. It looks a lot easier on the videos when they do it. Because they're in the building and they've got all the perfect, perfect scenarios. 
perfect scenario. Now we gotta tighten this up. With the magic of the camera, it'll be tight real quick. Okay, now we're gonna tighten up this headlight and fender. It's good and tight. Now we got the two brackets to put on for the for the fender. Got it started. Now we'll do this side. So yeah, they tighten that up tight. Okay, now we're gonna put this fender bracket over here. Put the screw through the eyelet and then put it back in. Not to over tight because this is all aluminum. Do not over tighten. And it does have instructions in the manual about torque, how much torque to have on and stuff like that. So if you have a torque wrench, which I don't have, it would be good to use a torque wrench. Okay, that's done. Then we're going to hook the light up. Can you see me? Yep. Hook the light up. There's no twisting. It just lines up and goes in about there. There you go. Hey, we got the wheels on. This looks pretty good. I think that light could still go that way some, couldn't it? Huh? No. So far, so good. All right. I'm not moving an inch. You're not moving an inch? No, because I saw a wasp and it flew right by me. Okay, taking these zip ties off. Cardboard off, packing paper off. And there's the battery. Oh, before I forget to tell you, this is a 2020. I ordered it in 2020. It might be a 2019. But I ordered it in 2020. This is uh, this is April the 22nd. That's when I got this thing. Putting it together today. There's a lot more to do, but I'm gonna take a break. Now on these, you have to turn this one the opposite way. That's all you got to do. That's cool looking. It looks like a piece of a table almost because of the design. Stay tuned, hit the subscribe button, and I'm going to do some more things to the bike, do some mods, add some things, add some baskets and things for grocery shopping and stuff. So check back with my other videos and check out what all I do with my phone mounts, my mirror mounts, all kinds of stuff. There's a lot of things you can do to this thing to make it an everyday bike or an everyday vehicle. So thanks for watching. You guys have a great day and happy riding. This is rad, man. Hold on, to me if you want to. Hold on as tight as you can, okay? It was scary, but at the end it's actually fine.
Off they go.